feeling? I'm feeling ready. Are you nervous? Yes. What I happens if you what happens if you have to roll around out there or if we have to pick you up? I'm not gonna pick you up, I'm not gonna do it. I'm gonna I'm gonna say you can do it. We'll what? follow you in the car. But my arch hurts. That's an, I ain't gonna let you give up. Maybe I should just Mia, defer you gonna let mommy give up tomorrow? No. No, but she's gonna do it. Maybe I'll defer defer it till next Saturday. Two! One marathon, do two marathons. Why don't you run a mile with me? Yeah, why don't you work on a mile first? Showing the only dirty area in our home right now. Listen, it's okay. Mommy, let me She's so on nervous. This. She's so nervous about her marathon tomorrow. Look at this house. <laughs> Cleaned to perfection. Look at this. I mean, you could eat off this floor. You're sick. Here we go. Here we go. Here's the runner. Tomorrow's the big day. Hey, why your let's go, booty, let's go. Why does your booty shake when you run? Why does your face talk when yeah, you run? Yeah, mommy, why does your booty shake when you run? <laughs> Geisel family tradition. This goes back to generations of making pancakes. <laughs> it really does. I've been making pancakes my whole life, and here we are. What's your plan to attack this thing? How are you going to finish? What's your mindset going out there? Take it one step at a time. That's the only thing you got to do. One foot in front of the other. Exactly. And eventually, you'll get to 26.2 miles. Isn't that right? Yes. <laughs> it's that simple. If everybody would just realize, it's that simple. I'm gonna take my water with me and drink as I need every 30 minutes to an hour. Probably every 30 minutes. Take little sips. What we really wanna know is how are you gonna control your bowels while you're out there? <laughs> if I have to come back to the house, I'll come back to the house. <laughs> Anybody who's gone on long runs knows when you're out there. You still have syrup. When you're out there, things no, are not right. Stomach. Isn't that right? Um, I guess I've had to come back after three miles and then finish my rest. You heard it here first, lady. <laughs> this is why mommy's stronger than me, girls. She's gonna be finishing before me. You like to bounce around. You already, you know, stop your long runs. Oh, you got hurt. Sorry. Yeah, put it in air quotes like you want to. <laughs> you got <laughs> hurt. There it is. <laughs> there she is. Except I'm here going on a marathon run and my arch was hurt at the end of January, the last weekend of January, I hurt my arch running 14 miles in new shoes. You sure it's not she hurt her arch? I hurt myself. No, I hurt myself. I was limping that Friday and then Saturday. Um, and by Sunday I was feeling better, but I was limping for a little bit. Uh, well, mommy says she's ready, doesn't she girls? She says she's gonna do it. Well, I'm gonna do my best. She's gonna do her best, and we're gonna be here to support her. Isn't that, isn't that right? Okay. You got someone to help you keep pace. How are you doing? How are you doing? 14.1 seconds. You're moving. Oh, where's my stuff? How are you feeling? Oh, tired. Beat up. Hurt. Sniffling. Where is everything? Oh. Don't worry, I have a little snack section for you. Oh, two cakes. Your foot feeling okay? Uh, it's uh, started bugging me, so I walked for a little bit. So you gotta go for it? Yeah, no pausing. You gotta get go real time. That's why. I, that's why I'm married for ladies and gentlemen. Snack. When she goes out there and starts something. She gets it done. I'm gonna keep moving. Quick stretch. <sighs> She's feeling strong. Whew. Can't say strong, but I'm feeling something. <laughs> 12 miles to go. 12 miles left. She's going for it. Yeah. I'll see you again in uh, three miles, three and a half miles. After I do the loop, because I'm gonna eat. Come in, eat. I'm hungry. 
Hungry, that's Ooh, right. Man, I'm hungry. Get another snack. No, I, I have can't. applesauce next. Yeah, I'll come back in three, three and a half miles after I do the this these loops. I had this backwards. I had to readjust it while I was running. Stroke down. I'll be back. Whew. Cold. Then she's gone again. <laughs> See you in a little bit. Let me do the loop. Go back. You got this. So Camilla's out for her final round and the girls and I are gonna surprise her with a little finish line outside. So Mia, do you have some good ideas you've been thinking about? Mm-hmm. All right, so we're gonna start getting artsy, put something together, and so she's got something a little special for her finish in this big day. back here in the next little bit. She should be pretty close to being done. Mia, this is a masterpiece. We've got... You did it. Yeah. Some pretty flowers that Mia drew yeah. and Cora drew over there with her name. We got finish line 26.2 Beautiful, Cora. Camilla should be home literally any minute. And I don't know if you guys can tell, it just started sleeting outside. There's little bits of ice falling down from the sky. So it's not even that cold out right now. It's in the 40s, but sleet is falling. So you guys can probably see this. It's like little specks of ice falling right now. But she should be back here any minute and she'll get to see her finish line. Oh, there she is, there she is, there she is. I knew she would make it. You there? Yep, what is your point? Get out of town. Why? Crossing the finish line, look at that, look at this. The custom <laughs> finish line. 26.22. Proud of you, baby. <sighs> I made it. Oh my god. How do you feel? I, What's your first thoughts? I feel like, what was I thinking? <laughs> but you're done. You did it. We've been trying to do this for years. I know. I can officially say I married a marathon woman. I'm proud of you. I knew you could do it. Now it's your turn. I got to live up to it. My woman, it's always stronger than me, but you know. It's official now, officially <laughs> official. Marathon by your boy coming soon. You think daddy's gonna do it? Yeah. You think mommy's time is gonna be faster? Yeah. <laughs> Probably. Probably not. You think daddy's gonna be able to walk when I get home? Um, nope. <laughs> See you in a little while. Yeah. It's cold out there, you know that, right? If we have to walk with daddy at the end, we will walk with daddy at the no, end. No, we can't stop him. No, That's right, Mia. we're not going to stop him. You know, if he has to walk at the end. <sighs> He still has a bit to the end, though, you know. We got 12 more left. He's only a little bit over halfway. It's gonna be ugly. <laughs> He's only a little bit over halfway. It's gonna be ugly. Go go. Do you have to watch daddy everything with the TV? No, I just want I I want to you know take care of my daddy. I want to support him, Mia. Yeah? Not enough. 14, mama. Oh, let me get my 
glasses. Every time, man. <laughs> the girls, they're so excited for their daddy to run. Don't worry, girls, you can carry me upstairs when I'm done. Oh man, daddy might have to sleep downstairs. We almost brought you long pants. Almost there. You're at 26.1? Oh, yeah. There's no cracks in the finish line for you. Just go around the circle. Yeah. Go around the circle again. That's all I got. Full, full speed ahead. <laughs> 26.23 You just had to get the point two three so because I got point two two two. How do you feel? I go on and sit down. I couldn't walk. I couldn't walk very fast at the end. That was twenty what, two years in the making? Thirty two. 33 years in the making. Now I just got to be able to actually run the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> I beat you by an hour. By over an hour. By like an hour and three, four minutes. No, by an hour. Four days to recovery. Yeah, I know. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, I lost by a lot. Now, the first question you're probably asking yourself is, why did two lunatics like ourselves just go out and run 26.2 miles in our neighborhood. We're doing this! I just felt like running! We didn't really care about the time. We just wanted to go out and do it. We've got two young kids, so it's kind of hard to just get away for five and six hours of our afternoon. So we just decided to do it in our neighborhood. Yeah, and it was right around my birthday, so the how the training schedule ended up being. So I was like, I'm gonna do it. This is gonna be my gift to myself. I'm gonna go out and I'm just gonna run. So the signing up for a marathon wasn't as important to us for our first one, but if you're somebody who needs that kind of motivation and accountability, I definitely suggest that you find one in your area or find one in a place that you would think would be fun to visit. To help you all hopefully get through your first marathon experience, we put together five different training tips. So number one is find a good training plan. We got recommended from one of my buddies who ran a marathon a couple of years ago to hellhigden.com. They've got a bunch of different training plans. We actually use just Novice One as like the entry level training plan on there. It's 18 weeks long. We got to about week 14 or 15. We've tried the last couple of years and due to moving and injuries, we just never were able to get all the way through the plan and actually complete the marathon. We started getting some injuries this year as well and we just decided to go for it. Number two, don't be scared to walk. Obviously, your boy here walked for about three hours of my marathon time, but that was all I could do. My legs were cramping. I couldn't run anymore. I ran until I literally could not run another step. So if you've got to walk, just walk. And if you need to take time to stretch, also the stretching was key. It helped me keep running. Camilla was smarter than me and actually did some stretching the days before the, her actual run, so I did not, hence you know, why she did so much better than me, one of the reasons. I was able to stretch every couple of miles and it just helped keep the cramps at bay while I kept walking out there. So do what you gotta do, take some time to stretch while you're out there, and don't feel bad about it. Number three, make sure you drink and eat enough. I started about three days beforehand to um, make sure I was hydrated, make sure I was eating enough, make sure I had cut down my fiber. We eat a lot of vegetables, we have a lot of fiber in our food, and I wanted to make sure that that wasn't gonna disrupt my stomach too much. Um, and I wanted to make sure that I was gonna be well hydrated because I was gonna be out there for who knows how many hours. And I wanted to make sure that my carbohydrates were nice and high, and that I was ready to push my body through all those hours. This is also why Camilla is smarter than me. She got much faster than me because she prepared a little bit better than I did. Number four. Have good gear, don't run in new shoes. I made the mistake of running in a new shoe for 14 miles and I should have just tried it in a shorter run, even if with the same brand and everything. Just, you don't want any surprises so close to your end goal. So I definitely would recommend that if you're gonna try something, just try it in the last few miles. So we both have multiple shoes in our rotation and we actually both chose to run in our oldest pair of shoes that we still actively run in. So 
Be careful with new shoes. You definitely don't want to hurt yourself. And last, but certainly not least, the one that was most important for me when I was out there and I could barely take another step is keep putting one foot in front of the other. It may hurt, it's gonna feel terrible, but you will get to the finish line as long as you keep those feet moving. So whether you gotta walk, if you can run, do what you gotta do to keep going and you'll get across the finish line. Whether it's a race or whether you're just being crazy like us and running around your neighborhood, you will finish. Thank you for joining us on today's video. We hope that you are all able to crush your marathon goals as well. So if you've got any good comments or any good marathon stories or any crazy things that you've done to push yourselves, leave it down in the comments below. Thank you for watching. Please feel free to like the video and subscribe to the channel and we will see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.